Hi, my name is Bob Golding, and I am a senior escalation engineer at Microsoft in North Carolina. I am recording this video to attempt to uh, give customers information as to what they can do with a memory dump before sending it to Microsoft. Some memory dumps do not contain information that are relevant to help Microsoft solve the problem. Uh, some uh, dumps are caused by <coughs> hardware problems, for example. These are a list of memory dumps that usually don't prov are, are not worth sending to Microsoft because they provide little or no value. A stop 77. It's a fatal I.O. error when reading data from the page file. The system cannot continue because it can't get the uh, retrieve the data it needs from storage, so it stops in blue screens. 7A, basically the same thing. A stop 124, that can be caused by hardware. When the hardware interrupts the system saying that a fatal internal error occurred and the system is in danger and it cannot proceed. A stop 9C, that is another uh, error that is caused by hardware. And stop 7B, and really that needs to be troubleshot because dumps are really uh, of no value for that type of problem. That's if one can be taken. So, how do you know what blue screen it is, or what blue screens may be relevant or not relevant? What you can do is open the dump yourself. And I could give you some pointers on, on how to do that and how to, uh, how to retrieve the values and look up what the blue screens are. First, you must install the debugging tools. Debugging tools are located here up on the Microsoft website. Once you start to install from the website, you'll bring up the you'll get you'll be presented with this um, with this message with this box and what you do is you check debugging tools for Windows and then click install and that will proceed to install the debugging tools on your system so how do you know what the bug checks are the values are in the event log and there's one way to retrieve the values is to look in the event log and find the, uh, the stop event. The other way is to actually open the dump file and look inside. There are commands you, you could issue, dot bug check, and there's dot hh to get the, dub, uh, the help file so you can look up the code, and the uh, bug check help. How do you do this? I will uh, demonstrate how to open the dump file after you get the debugging tools installed and the commands that you could enter to determine what bug check you received and uh, if the dump is worth sending to Microsoft. Hi, I have uh, opened a, a memory dump so uh, to have a look at it. This is one thing you can do to determine if the memory dump is worth sending to Microsoft. The way to open a memory dump is uh, you click on WinDBG, go to File, Open Crash Dump, which will bring up a, a, a file box, and you can go search, uh, go to the directory uh, where the memory dump is, and, uh, and just select it, and the debugger will open it up. I have done that already because that operation takes some time. Once you've opened up the dump, there's a couple of things you could do. One of them, uh, you could do, uh, you could type in a couple of commands. Uh, the first thing you need to do is type dot simfix. Sorry, uh, you have to click in the window, the bottom dot type sim fix and that'll autom and uh, return that will automatically set up your symbols uh, on the internet and will point the uh, debugger to the uh, system symbol server uh, the Microsoft symbol server and uh, you'll be able to uh, get the, the debugger will be able to get the information that it needs to look at the dump uh, one command another command you can type is bug 
dot bug check and what it does it displays the the code and the values and you could go so the command you could do on the files dot hh that will bring up help and you can look up the bug check code go to index type bug and here they all are and you can look it up the code yourself and see if uh, to look at the values and the code this is a 7a and see if it's uh, worth sending to Microsoft you can do this manually or there's a command called analyze-v which comes up in the debugger if you click on that it'll display this information and tell you what the blue screen is it tells you that this is a uh, kernel data could not be read in is caused by bad block in the paging disk file so this uh, is alluding to that as uh, telling you that this is a hardware problem uh, due to a disk failure and it displays the error code which is the second value right here and it tells you that the IO device reported uh, an IO error okay, it even tells you what the module name is it's a, it's a disk problem Okay, so it gives you information to, uh, so to decide uh, on a triage basis of what, if this uh, dump is, uh, should be sent to Microsoft. Uh, since this is a hardware problem, there really, really isn't anything that Microsoft can do. So uh, you could go to the event log and see if there are any other disk errors and uh, see if... Uh, and uh, have a look at the disk subsystem and to, to determine what the problem is. So this this could be done to do this could uh, the debugger could be used to do your own triage. Another type of dump that we receive um, is uh, dumps that are caused by drivers referencing uh, legal addresses, which causes a variety of stops: D ones, A's, fifties. Now. Some of these modules are not Microsoft drivers. So you could uh, look and make a determination yourself. You could see what driver it is. Uh, this is a, a stop D1. And you could click on analyze V or look it up in a help file. And it will give you information about the failure. It tells you the image is myfault.sys. You could type, you click on the image, you can find out more about the image. This is display down here. And you can see that the company name is Sys Internals. So this is a program that's used to blue screen the machine called myfault. Uh, using that as an example, it tells you the instruction pointer. So you could do a triage to see if this, this um, access violation what this is called can be should be sent to Microsoft or should be sent to a third-party vendor you can do your own triage because what happens in many of these dumps is that we get them and we really can't determine the problem because uh, the module at fault is not a Microsoft module so another thing you look at you can see the uh, what's called a stack trace this is what uh, call stack and uh, what happens is that these are the function names and uh, this function called it to my fault and uh, my fault accessed uh, the bad address and triggered a page fault and then turn caused a bug check so that's uh, something uh, you could look at real you could look at because right here the the, uh, the IP the instruction pointer or the, the symbolic instruction point just before uh, the page fault is the uh, address of uh, of the instruction that caused the fault. So that's another uh, another way you can see uh, what happened. So these are some. This is a way that you can uh, examine uh, the memory dumps in your machine and uh, do a quick triage to see if they're worth sending to Microsoft. If you uh, get a memory dump, you could uh, use this and uh, do the quick triage. 
So uh, thank you for your time, and uh, I hope you found this information helpful.